fact was that uh, he was tired. Okay. Loose first mark here, middle, poor Roos coming in from the Roos side, very boggy conditions and a strong mark, given that the ball was very muddy. This is well. young Matthew Dundas, I suppose that's a regulation thing for Smallman, if they can't do that, well they shouldn't be there. Another mark in the bog, Brad Plain high over the top. Here's Mark Harvey, a lovely spring, and of course Harvey's having his best year for some season, terrific to see. This is a magnificent leap from Dunkley. Trying to get the right on Hines. Hines moved out of the way, and really he didn't even touch Hines' back on that occasion. And here's another leap too. It's a beautiful use of the step ladder. In this case, it's a fellow called Neil Brunton. Another great mark from behind by Nettlebeck. The dry conditions, great for marking. Now, as well as the uh, leap here, we have the sit in combination. Beautiful work by Mark Bays. And this is the first of a group of one-handers. So we're holding out his opponent. Now, in my opinion, the ball in this case is nestled for time on Delray's body, and that's not a mark in my opinion. Dougie Hawkins, a magician, pulling another one-hander in, and that was great under extreme pressure. And here's a case of a player during a marking contest, never giving in. He was just edged out there, but desperately put up the one hand, kept in the contest and completed the mark. Beautiful. One of the most spectacular youngsters in the game, Daryl White from the Bears, high above the pack. And here's Ross Lyon, a regulation effort. Really, given his position, and uh, uh, it was about one of the few things that Rossi Lyon did uh, yesterday, he, he had a dark day. Now, who did we come up with there, Timmy? Well, I came up with someone, but you've gone over the top Ooh. of me. I came up with Dunkley, and you've gone for Turley. Well, yes, I have. Okay. Oh. Yes. And in this case, that's because... Well, I'm you might be coach the side going no. overseas, right? But oh, no, right. we've gone with Dunkley, Tim. We've decided the coach has got more control than the <laughs> yeah. chairman of selectors. There you go. No, no, and no, so no. they should do yeah. it, Ron. That's You'd right. have to well, agree on. with that. There's a lot of money hanging on. <laughs> now, who have we gone for? Dunkley. And oh, here yeah. the round by rounds. Dunkley, Graf... Exceptional <laughs> barrel from Darren Buick. Something had to crack this game open. And I think this was the cause. Magnificent goal. 60-plus metres. A great use of the torpedo. And here's a West Coast Eagle, Maine wearing, who's the most exciting player, turns back to get on his favoured leg, and I must say they've bounced through, so I don't consider like Ron. they bounced through, so it's not that good a goal. Well, Craig Dentelbeck is an exciting player. Doesn't always prepare himself that well, I believe. Can take mark of the day, but this time he's kicked one of the goals of the day. And here's Jamie Lawson, a very speedy player, takes the ball, Gets himself balanced, away he goes. And it's a very nice goal. Field this roll. And here's a player that the Swans must classify as one of their best pickups for years, David Struper. Kicked many goals, and that was a great one. And here's Libba. Dropped it onto the boot very quickly, and it's a very good kick from about one stride. Nice goal from Libba. And this is a goal from. A player that's regained the mantle as the best rover in the competition. Exceptional goal. And Sandy Roberts did like it, as Bruce referred to earlier. And this is more skill in what he does. The actual goal is not all that good. I mean, for a fellow like Jarman, it must have been just a picnic to run straight in and put it through. And here's one of Bob's players that were too fat, too slow and too ordinary a few years ago. But Marcus Ashcroft, Bob. No, Marcus is a young fellow. He wasn't in the team when I made those statements, no. <laughs> well, who'd we go for, Bob? Well, and I hope we keep this on television because shortly there won't be too many of them. Let us see Mr Buick put the torpedo punt through. A delight to see, as Jared said. Now, watch this. There he goes. A long distance. The spiral is 